Need me a Burberry trench coat on. Some boots. And some stilettos. With my hand upon selling some hoops. Baby, what? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Janae Simone. So today we're going to actually be talking about perfumes and I'm going to do a collection haul on all the perfumes that I have. My collection is not the largest but it's growing so I wanted to actually help at least someone out for those that are interested in starting a perfume or collection. So I'm going to go ahead and give you some tips and then after that we'll go ahead and get started on what my collection looks like. So the biggest tip I can tell someone is to actually know what kind of scents you actually like. Once you know that, it'll be a lot easier when it comes to figuring out what perfume you like when it comes to ordering it online because it, the notes are always online as well as sometimes it's even on the box. Once you do that, I definitely will recommend you getting either the sample sizes or the actual t um, travel size so you can see how it wears on your body and if it works with your body chemistry. That's the biggest thing to do. Going to jump and get the largest bottles is not always the best thing because it may not work with your body chemistry even though it smells good on everybody else. That's just the caveat and that's what I would actually recommend for anyone who is looking to start a perfume collection. So next thing we're going to be talking about is my actual perfume collection. I have about 12 full size bottles for right now but I want to actually make sure before I start growing my collection to tower sizes that what I have I actually use. I don't want my perfume to get old or I don't use it and I'm dusting it off even though some of these they're just pretty bottles so I get it. I get why people do it. But the whole point of this video is for me just to show you the collection that I have. So stay tuned. So let's start off with my perfume collection now that I've given you some tips on what you can do when it comes to how to actually start a perfume collection. Mm, I'm just gonna be random with it and I'm gonna start with my most recent purchase and my favorite Paco Romaine Fame. The notes of this one is, it's a, in the floral family, infamous on when I said that you need to kind of know what you like when it comes to picking out perfumes. I love warm florals and you'll be able to tell that in most of this, this collection that I have a lot of florals, preferably warm florals. Um, this is warm florals and the key notes is mango, jasmine, and incense. I love this. As soon as you spray it, you get that beautiful mango smell. And then like as it dries down, it kind of gets all warm. That's me. <laughs> That's what I like. So first things first, Fame is my favorite for right now. It hit different for me. It may look like a different kind of a bottle, but you know what? I love this. Also, I want to give you a heads up. I'm going to actually put um, the name of everything in the description as well as a link to Sephora if you are interested in these because I got most of these from Sephora. Next thing, let's go ahead and do this Libre. This is the infamous YSL Libre. This thing, I'm looking down at my phone um, because I do not know all of the notes to everything because I'll be fibbing. This is the Libre um, El Parfum, Parfum Intense. I'm gonna butcher this, a lot of these, but I'm gonna try my best to say them properly the first time. But this is a warm floral. It has lavender, incense, orange, orange blossom, and orchid accord, baby. It's like grown and sexy. This is my nighttime scent. I can't even lie. I wear this during, I wear this at night because it's heavy. A little bit like it has like a musk to it I don't know what it is but it has like a musk scent to it that is like <sighs> hitting they didn't lie about this one this is good and and this I usually um, fame I usually wear during the daytime because it's more of my fun scent than anything else all right this is one of my favorites I fell in love with this one I fell in love with this just because of the style of the bottle. Can you guess what it is? Carolina Herrera, good girl. This is the parfum. Baby, it's the shoe. Can we take a moment to like appreciate the shoe? Like, but you can set your phone on this. Like it's just, I also got the travel size. 
Because, honey, I need to... I need them to see me, smell me. I want... Always. So, this one actually is Warm Floors as well. Timber Rose, Jasmine, and Toka Bean. It smells like it has vanilla in it, and it probably does somewhere down the line. But this is... I just, I, this is the first perfume I ever had on where I got a compliment. Somebody turned around and was like, oh my God, what do you have on? You smell so good. It was the shoe. The shoe is what did it. I love this. Now, this is more of an evening wear, but sometimes I do wear it in the daytime because I'm going to brunch and I just, I'm feeling it today. So, I have to actually put this on and it does the job every time. It does not disappoint Oh, it does not disappoint. Carolina, good girl. They did a good job. <laughs> All right. This is also something I got during the Sephora sale. And this is Lancome Adol, the perfume. Now, I've seen this, right? And honestly, I didn't even know it stood up on its own. But it does. <laughs> but this smells really good as well. This is more of my, like, daytime fresh clean scent. This is also in the fragrance family of florals but it's more so of a classic floral it has keynotes of spotless jasmine absolute radical rose essence clean capri accord this is like i wear this to the gym i wear this to target <laughs> i wear all these to target but this to target it's like clean it's like a girly girl scent that's what it is it's a girly girl scent this smells so good. I don't know if I would layer this because I would have to kind of iffy on this because it gives like a little bit of clean smell but floral. But it's not powdery at all. Go to for just clean girly scent. Like truly if I think of a girl's girl like legally blonde I think she would wear this. That's for her. That's why I got it. <laughs> I had to do it like I smelled it once and I was waiting for the sale to get it and I got it Rihanna Fenty yes <sighs> it fit what I likes warm florals magnolia musk and Bulgarian rose you got me with the warm florals and it has rose in it too I like rose but not like powdery rose like just traditional rose this it smells so good this bottle this bottle let me further know that this is a nighttime scent it's just like grown and sexy like you could wear this going from like afternoon to dinner sexy same as like the libre ysl it just gives you automatically date night late night like we about to go out and i need you to smell me Fenty Rihanna, you won't go wrong, especially if you like warm florals. All right. This one is by Killian. What do you think it is? Which one do you think it is? It is not. Don't be shy. It's, I don't need a prince to, by my side to be a princess. I just thought this was so cute. I used to have this. Um, I used to have this in the travel size, honey, that bingo. <laughs> I used the hell out of this. And of course, I have this. They now have it in a different, um, in a square, but I have it in the rollerball. I think this, not rollerball, but um, the rolling, they used to have this um, design like this. I think it's cute just to sit on there. So when it's empty, I buy the bigger one. But this is actually in a different fragrance family. Warm and spicy. So it is warm and sweet gourmands. Keynotes are ginger, green tea, and marshmallow. I think what I like about this is that it smells sweet with the marshmallow I don't smell as much ginger but this smells really good and it lasts a long long time this can be date night and this also can be in the middle of the day this smells really good I used to use this as a everyday scent morning noon night this is good can't go wrong with Killian all right so this one I that sneaked up on me this one sneaked up on me y'all <sighs> this sneaked up on me Valentino, Donna, Born, and Roma. I was in New York City and my friend, we went up there for her birthday. She had this on. I was like, girl, you smell good. What is that? 
She said, it was this. Baby, I tried it on that night. I was like, baby, got to go buy it. Came back, bought it. It smelled so good. Ah, back to the florals. <laughs> Warm florals, black currant, um, jasmine, grand form, and bourbon vanilla. Let me tell you how bad I, I got it. Got, I got two of these. I have two of the travel sizes. Baby wasn't playing. It smells so good. It's like grown and sexy, but girly. Like, I don't know how to describe it other than that. Like, it's, it's a warm scent, but it's also like sexy. Very sexy. To me, this is very sexy. Which is good, you know, because this is, for me, a nighttime scent. But I'll wear this in the middle of the day. I mean, who gonna check me? Like, bad girl-ish? That's this, for sure. Love it. <sighs> that Valentino hit different. Tell me, you have with a spiky bag? Baby, you can't play with me. All right. So, replica, born by the fire, born by the fireside. I'm still on Valentino. <laughs> replica by the fireside i also have this in the travel size as well i actually started this one with this with the travel side and then i bought the larger size i love wearing this at night it's definitely like it's a burning wood and chestnut this just smells like fall i usually wear this heavy in the fall time for sure the rest of these i wear it whenever no matter what season but this is heavy nighttime for me and fall winter time because it definitely is warm it smells just like it smells like it's like winter time and like we didn't turn on the fireplace. They get these scents like whatever the description is, imagine it's going to bring you to that place, especially if you've experienced it before. As you can tell, I've used a lot of this and I bring this with me often when I'm traveling and I travel a lot during the winter time. So that's why I didn't went through a couple of these. But this is so good. And this is not the largest size because like I said, I usually only wear this during the fall winter time. But this is good for fall and winter. We'll see um, during the, the end of the year if I end up getting a larger size of that. So let's see what we have next. All right, so I have a collection um, from a particular brand and I'm trying to see how I'm gonna do this. So we're just gonna start with the first one I bought. Vanilla Woods, um, focus, Vanilla Woods, this, I love the, this brand. It is warm and spicy. Pear, rose, and vanilla. I smell heavy vanilla, like a sweet vanilla. Um, I also have this, because this is the only brand I have that has this. A oil. Okay. Roller top. It smells just like the perfume. Usually if you put this, the oil on first, then you spray this, it lasts longer. This is... I, and I love the oil. These oils are amazing. So I have that brand, that one. This very simple, straight to the point, and works beautifully together. It lasts a long time. Then I have Lotus Pear. This is a fruity floral. Williams Pear, Lotus Flower, and Gardenia. And there's no surprise if it had oil with it, baby. I'm buying the oil too. The good, the interesting thing about this brand is that each of the oils come with a different roller ball at the end. For example, this one is for improving focus, mood balancing, and feeling blissful. The Vanilla Woods is for alleviating stress, calming, smoothing, soothing, and overwork. Or in the overworked. And the last one I have, because I was addicted to these, honey, Blackberry Lily. I got this one last year. It's just, it reminds me of spring. It is warm, gamond, warm and sweet gourmands, blackberry, lily of the valley, and granina. Honey, I butchered that. I'm sorry. This also has a perfume oil. And this is with uh, amethyst on the bottom. It's awakening creativity, stimu stimulating cognitive thinking, and strengthening confidence. These all smell so good. Oh, I'm telling you. Th these, 
and you pair them together if i could have a perfume oil with every perfume i have i would do it you ain't gotta ask me i would do it because they smell so good and they work so beautifully together truly they really do i'm gonna start off with prada this is prada paradox and these are our perfumes this i recently got and i love it this is in the fragrance family sorry i'm looking down at my phone if you see me looking down this is in the warm florals this has neural bud white amber and white musk this smells heavenly it's different you get the smell of musk but it's also like light and airy the musk is definitely where I can smell like the warmth, but you can definitely smell like it's just a warm, beautiful smell of like a, I can imagine a flower being white. I don't know why, <laughs> but this is one of my favorites. The first time I smelled it, I was like, yes, you got me. This is my first and only Prada perfume, but baby, it may not be my last because they did that. They did that because this, this is hitting. All right, so next up burberry her now we all know <sighs> i just need me a burberry trench coat on some boots and some stilettos with my hand upon selling some hoops baby what like what <laughs> this just smells so good to me it's floral fruity floral actually Dark berries, jasmine, and amber musk. I put a little dent in this. I want to get the try another one from Burberry because I was surprised when I smelled this. I was like, of course, you know, we know Burberry for, you know, their coats. But baby, they did it. And I'm going to get some of them. I'm telling you, that's it for me. That is it. So, last full size perfume I have is Jimmy Choo. I want you. So this is a Capri Amber Gourmand. It's floral and warm and spicy. So it's Juicy Rose, pepper, pink peppercorn, and almond oil. This wasn't my favorite when I smelt it. I like the dry down of this more. It's not my favorite when I spray it. But when it dries down, it be hidden for me. But it also how it smells on my body chemistry. But this is Jimmy Choo. I want you. It smells really good. And I like the dry down more of this. But I still recommend it. Because it gives a different. It's like it can go from daytime to evening. Especially the dry down part of it. Because it's more of a warm scent. And you smell the vanilla a lot more. But in the beginning it smells. You smell more of the floral part of it. It doesn't smell powdery. It's just. Very very fresh very very fresh but I still like it perfectly to dry down more so what do we have last all right Kaoli last thing I got I do not have the full size of these yet because I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going to purchase them or not I'm not even gonna lie to y'all I ended up getting a travel size of these and I have the Eden Juicy Apple uh one and vanilla 28 in love fest burning cherry 48 i'll put a picture up to make it easier for y'all but i really like the fact that i could get these in travel size and that's the beauty part that's the beautiful part of trying to create your own perfume and your own scent you can really make it whatever you want it to be it's just more so of start off with the travel size of things see if it works with your body chemistry if you want to start layering or anything like that you can and then get the larger size so at least you won't feel bad when it comes to however much you're paying for it. Because some of these perfumes are not cheap. But I love them and I actually will wear them so it doesn't, ma it doesn't matter to me. So that is finally it ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I have finally finished all of these are all of my perfumes I currently have. So this has been fun. Let me know what's your signature scent and what kind of fragrance family do you prefer when it comes to your perfume collection. Also, wherever, where are you when it comes to your perfume collection and if you actually started already? Give me any suggestions that you may have or whatnot and let's just have a conversation about it. In the comment section below, what is your favorite type of scent? 
Mine is warm florals, as you can tell. But I'm just curious, what is y'all favorite? As well as if y'all are starting when it comes to y'all perfume collection or if you've already started. Let's have a, con let's have a conversation about it in the comments. Alright, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!